Hello, I am so glad you can join me today. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, I am making a sponge cake. I haven't made one of these in a long time. So I'm making a sponge cake today and I'm gonna make some topping to go on, not the whole cake, but a slice of the cake and I'll show you how to make strawberry shortcake. The first thing I'm gonna do before I get started is grease my pan. So I have some butter here and I'm just gonna grease That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Now what I'm gonna do is put a little flour in here. I'm gonna put a little flour in here. And just kinda toss it around like this. Toss it around, make sure it goes all over and then you can empty it out in your sink. And now I'm gonna set this aside for a few minutes. Let me just rest it over here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do for my sponge cake is I have four eggs here and these eggs are at room temperature. I took them out of the fridge early this morning and had them sitting out at room temperature. So that's what you need to do to your eggs. So I'm going to put these eggs in here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my vanilla essence. Vanilla essence. And I'm going to put one teaspoon of vanilla essence in here. To give it some flavor. Rest it over there. Don't need this anymore. Now we're gonna beat these eggs. And guys, I'm gonna beat these eggs for about five minutes until they're nice and fluffy, okay? So you can take your hand mixer. You can use your hand mixer, works just as well, and, and beat your eggs. So I'm gonna beat this for a while. Okay guys, Oops. this is what you call beating eggs until they're nice and stiff. See that? So now I'm going to set this aside for a few minutes. I'm going to set that aside. Okay, so we set our eggs aside. We're going to use that in a little while. So now I go, we go on to our, so now we go on to our sugar. So I'm going to put my sugar in here. I don't need this right now. Put that over there. And my butter. So I'm going to take this from here. So I could take this out of here. And put my butter in here. And now I'm going to beat these two together. So the beating continues. Okay guys, so now I have here sugar and butter. Now to my sugar and butter, I'm going to add my flour and baking powder. And I forgot to mention guys, I have in here one cup of um, sugar and half a cup of butter. Forgot to mention that, can't forget. One cup of sugar, half a cup of flour, half a cup of butter. Now this is one cup of flour, okay? So I'm gonna sieve this flour in here. Sip, 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 sip. Good. And over here I have some baking powder. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm gonna sieve this too. What is that? One teaspoon of baking powder. Now we're gonna fold that in, okay? We're gonna fold it in. Let me get a little bigger, harder spoon. Okay, so now let me take this off. 
get all this stuff out of the way. So this is one cup of flour in here. So now I'm going to mix the two together. And I'm going to mix it in well. You're going to mix this part in with your hand. And just mix it in. Now, once this is all mixed like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, now our eggs come into play. So I'm going to take our eggs and just put it all in here. Put our spatula so I can get it all out. my salt here and normally I would add a pinch of salt to the flour but I completely forgot to add it and it's not a big deal so I'm not even going to add it now at this stage but you can add a pinch of salt to yours if you prefer you don't have to so now what I'm going to do is I am going to stir this in here and I'm just going to fold it in and you keep folding it in We're making a sponge cake, guys. I'm gonna turn this sponge cake, guys, into a strawberry shortcake. I'll let you guys see. And you keep folding it in, guys. Folding it in. And then I'm gonna take a little bit. This is a quarter cup of milk I have here, a quarter cup. And you don't necessarily have to use all of this. You can just look at the texture and see. So I'm gonna put a little bit in there. I'm not gonna put it all in at once. You just put a little, little bit and see what it looks like to you. Looking good. And we're just folding it in, folding it in. Looks good. I think I'll put the rest of my milk in. It's just a little bit. I'll put that in and I'll keep folding it in. Mix that in well. Yeah. And that's what it should look like, guys. See that? You see the texture there? That's what it should look like. So now my stove is on. I have my oven on and I have my oven set at 200. And I'm going to put this in the oven and leave it in there for about an hour. Um, you can check it after 30 minutes, but don't open your oven till after 30 minutes. You know, the back home and the old people baking tell you, don't open that oven because it, it would plop, it would flop okay so don't open the oven so um, put the oven on as I said on 200 and leave it in there for at least an hour but after 30 minutes you want to check it you can go ahead and check it okay but it'll be fine because the stove is not that high all right so now let me get my pan and this looks pretty good so now let me pour it into my pan I'm going to need my spatula to help me to get all this stuff out of here. My friend here does the job better. Okay, good. And that's it guys. So now I'm just going to kind of even it out in the pan. Just like. And that's it. So now. I'm going to put this in the oven 
for one hour now while this is in the oven I'm gonna make a strawberry sauce for our strawberry shortcake I'm making the short strawberry shortcake but I'm not doing the whole thing but I'll show you exactly what it is that I'm doing in a few minutes but let me put this in the oven and then we'll go on to the next step alright guys so now we're gonna make our strawberry topping so in here it's melted down a little bit this is two cups of frozen strawberries I just left them out for a while so they can come to room temperature almost so I'm gonna pour everything in here liquid and everything in here that's frozen strawberry my stove is on low and to that I'm gonna add one quarter cup of water I'm also gonna to add to that half a cup of sugar to let this stay here and come to a boil I'm gonna let this come to a boil because I'm making a strawberry topping for our sponge cake so I'll be back as soon as this is boiled okay guys so now our strawberries is pretty much softened here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some lemon juice to that and then I'm gonna put it in the blender and I'm gonna smooth it out I have a half a lemon I'm gonna squeeze that in here the lemon juice that maintains the color gives it a nice flavor and now I'm gonna take this from here and I have over here my blender I'm going to pour this in the blender pour that all in there put my cover on and oops just to smooth it out a little bit make sure it's nice and smooth yes it is put it back in Camden is crying because he wants to be hell right now but I have to finish this up and then I'll get him you heard him right guys Camden don't want to play on his own I gotta go get him and this is my sauce right here guys I don't want it any thicker than this. If you want it thicker, you can put some cornstarch to yours. But this is fine. I'm gonna let this continue to boil for a few minutes just to thicken it up a little more. And then once it is cooled down, it gets a little bit thicker. Okay, guys. Hey, say hello. So guys, while I'm waiting, my strawberries is boiling on the stove. The cake, the sponge cake is in the oven. Now I have some fresh strawberries here that's, uh, that's sliced up. And what I'm going to do is put a little bit of sugar to that. So when you put it on your, just in case the strawberries is a little bit sour and you put it on your cake, you get a little sweet taste instead of that sour taste. Because sometimes the strawberries are pretty sour. And I have my friend Camden here with me today. I've been babysitting guys all week. Camden's mommy is on her honeymoon. I mentioned that before. She went all the way to Greece. Yes, mommy went to Greece and she's on her back. She's on her way home today. She's missing her Camden. She's missing him so bad. So I'm going to take him so that when she get there um, later that Camden will be there so she'll see him. Right, Cammy? So Camden has been with me and with his other grandmother over the weekend and uh, so we've had him he's been a lot of fun he is really a good baby stand up look turn around do you want some strawberries okay so I'm gonna give him some strawberries guys he likes strawberries so I have this little thing here I think these are so cute and what you do is you take the piece of the fruit and stick the fruit inside of it I think these are adorable you can any kind of fruit that you have just stick the fruit inside all the way inside close it up and give it to them and they suck it they'll suck on it and get all the juice and everything out of it you see and that's it and he ate some strawberries don't drop it in the dirtier clothes there you go go ahead eat 
and he will just like a pacifier he's just gonna suck on that so I'm gonna so with my strawberries as I said we're gonna take a little sugar take your hands take a little sugar you don't want too much just a little bit and mix it up really well with the sugar and then you can put these in the refrigerator and let it set for a while and as soon as you're ready to do your topping you'll put that on your topping okay so I will be back in a few minutes to check my strawberry syrup to see how that's coming along okay guys so you see it has thickened up some more see that and then when you put it down look at it see it has thickened up and then when you put it down and, um, and let it cool some more it's gonna get even thicker okay this sauce is good um, you can have your pancakes in the morning and you can put a little bit of this on your pancake instead of using your syrup you can use this you can put it on your ice cream you can use this for a lot of different things so I'm gonna turn the stove off and take that out and I think it's about time for our cake to be out of the oven wait okay okay guys so the sponge cake is out of the oven this when you take your cake on the oven you're gonna take a toothpick and you're gonna stick it in the center to see if it comes out clean if it comes out clean that means your cake is finished okay so this stayed in the oven for one hour and it had it in there at 200 I'm gonna leave this for about 15 to 20 minutes before I cut it before I do anything to it don't touch it just put it aside and let it cool for a while before you cut it as you can see Mr. Camden is my bare half here today every time I put him down he starts to cry he wants to be part of what I'm doing so right you wanna help me cook are you gonna cook when you get older no Listen, you see Camden, he's not smiling. I'm telling you, this boy is hard. It's hard to get a smile from him. He, he gives you a smile, but he takes it back. Smile, look, you on camera. Smile. No smiles. No smiles. Look. Just like this, look. Just like that. Oh, no. <laughs> no smiles. So I will be back in a few minutes as soon as the cake is cool so that I can cut it and taste it for you. Okay, guys. So now I have my cake here. It's been cooling for a while, so it's quite cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going, as you see, it has moved away from the pan. So what you do is just kind of go around it a little bit just to make sure it's, it is not stuck to the sides. So I'll go all the way around, just remove it from the sides. plate right here I'm gonna turn it upside down on that plate the cake this is how you make yourself a sponge cake I'm gonna cut it for you in a minute so we're gonna turn this sponge cake right now into a strawberry shark so I'm going to show you two ways to make your strawberry shortcake, okay, with your sponge cake. Now looking at my sponge cake, and you will see here that this side is a little bit higher than that side. And that's because when I put the batter in the pan and I shake it like this, I was trying to avoid shaking it too hard because the baby was asleep. I don't want to wake him up. But what you do is you kind of shake it so to kind of level it out, okay? But what you would do with this, if you were going to make your strawberry shark cake, is you would take your cake and you would slice it. You would get a nice serrated knife and you would slice your cake in half. Okay? When you slice your cake in half, then you will take your topping here that we made, our strawberry topping. And you would take this, and by the way, look at our strawberry topping that we made. See that? This is so good. Guys, it tastes, it tastes so good. Try making this. It is so good. It's not too sweet and it tastes perfect. And as I said, you can put this over your ice cream. You can put it over your pancakes. Whatever kind of dessert that you have that you enjoy eating, you can just drizzle a little of this over it. It's really good. But when you cut it in half, you'll take this and you will layer the bottom half of it. 
and then you would take some strawberries and you will layer that strawberries on there and then you would take your cool whip and then you're gonna just layer the cool whip on top of that and then you're gonna take your other half and you're gonna put it back on the top and then you're gonna repeat the then you will repeat the process all over again okay another thing that you can do when you cut it is you can stick some holes inside of your cake so that when you put your topping on the topping goes all the way inside I'm not gonna do that because it'll probably end up going to waste because I know the people are here are not really gonna eat all of that but if you have company and you're making it for people you know that they're gonna eat it so you go ahead I prefer to just slice it put my cool whip put my toppings on on top and just eat it that way every time I want to slice I do it that way instead of doing the whole thing okay because I'm not gonna eat this whole cake now one of the reasons I also did this cake is because my husband's birthday is tomorrow he was supposed to be here to taste test for me but he went to the gym so I'm gonna test taste test for him but this cake is for his birthday which is tomorrow so I'm getting an early start on that okay so let me go ahead and cut the cake and cut the cake I'm gonna cut it in squares guys and cut it in squares this part in a square. Look at it. That's what your sponge cake look like. See? Nice and spongy. That's where it's supposed to be. And put that there. And let me show you what I'm going to do with that. Put it right there in my center. And then I, I'm going to punch a couple of holes in the top like that. Looks good. Then I'm going to take some topping. I'm going to take some of my topping and put my topping here. I kind of let it drizzle to the sides. Let it run down on the sides. And then I'm going to just put a little bit around my plate, like just like that. Then I'm going to take some of my strawberries. That's about to slide off. And put it there. And then I'm going to take a dollop. I'm going to take a dollop of my whipped cream and put it right there. That's a big dollop. And that, guys, is my strawberry shortcake right there. But as I said, you know, you can cut it in half and put that in the center. Now you have some at the top, but I don't want it in the center, so I just do it like this. But you have a choice, okay? Okay. Now, guys, I have the best part. I get to taste this delicious dessert for you. And that's, let's see. Let me get a little piece of everything here. A little piece of strawberry with some whipped cream. Oh, wait. I do that better. Mm. That is so good. Guys, this cake is so good. It is so good. Let me taste another piece. This topping is so good. Guys, you gotta try it. Get some frozen strawberries and just make it. It's really good. Perfect. guys this is perfect and this is how you make your strawberry shortcake this used to be my daughter's favorite when she was much younger she loves strawberry shortcake I think there was a little cartoon with strawberry shortcake she has strawberry shortcake blanket she still got a blanket up to today but this is really really good
I hope you guys can try it. Guys, I had fun making this. This is going to be for my husband's birthday. His birthday is tomorrow. So this is his birthday cake. And I hope you have fun making some for your family as well. All right. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And don't forget the thumbs up and press that little bell so you will be notified every time I put a video up. Until next time, bye-bye.